What's the Bible's number one tip for living a better life? <laughs> no, not circumcision. I'm Pinchas Taylor, and this is Taylor Talks. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out Taylor Talks. We put out these videos every single week, and I hope that if you're watching us on Facebook, you'll follow along at our page above. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll hit that subscribe button in the lower right. Let's jump right into it. A lot of people feel like they get in the way of themselves. In other words, they have a lot of potential, but it feels trapped inside. What's the best way that we can overcome our inner slavery? The first commandments that the Israelites received after being freed from slavery in Egypt was to establish the months of the calendar. That seems kind of odd. It's not really spiritual or uplifting. Why did God want to start there? To answer this question, we have to get to the core of what slavery is in the Bible. In the Bible, the Israelites were allowed to take even their own people as slaves. But slavery in this situation wasn't the same as the harsh images that we think about when thinking about slavery and other points in history. The Israelites had to respect their slave as a part of their household. If you have steak for dinner, your slave also has steak for dinner. If you sleep on a Sealy Postropedic mattress, the slave also sleeps on a Sealy Postropedic mattress. So in theory, if you were a slave to someone who was well off, you lived a pretty good life. So what was it in the Bible that defined slavery? What was the core of what made someone a slave? The core of slavery in the biblical context means essentially that you were not in charge of your time. This is why the very first commandment that the Jewish nation receives after being freed from Egypt is to establish a calendar. The Jews had been taken out of Egypt but Egypt, or slave mentality, was still very much a part of them. By establishing the calendar, they were instructed and empowered to take control of their time. The same goes for our personal life. You want to succeed? Make a schedule. Feel like you want to accomplish so many things, but you're shackled and you get in your own way? Feel like you've got trap potential? Start today and make a schedule. And create a practical plan we're accomplishing a goal. Let's break out of our inner Egypt constriction mentality and experience the freedom to pursue what we really want to go after. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to help us and show your support for a few dollars a month, please visit our Patreon page in the link in the description. Thanks again and have a great day.